Hello, hello, hello. Alright, so Necrotic Wake 18. Uh, wait, we really don't have a Kyrian? Yikes. Yeah, as, as you've heard, uh, I actually forgot to mute my microphone while I was recording this. And sadly, it's separated to the same soundtrack, so I cannot separate it. I just gotta get out of the the, the, the the audio track would be simply too much effort so there's gonna be like this is my commentary but occasionally you will hear me speak to my teammates on discord which wasn't intended but and this is like one of the very few occasions where i actually did do this with people that i was on discord with so uh it's i don't really have a habit of muting of muting the discord on while i'm recording so it's kind of cringe but yeah anyway necrotic fortified bursting volcanic prideful obviously because it's season one and i mentioned that because season two is coming out soon so just so you know everybody's aware um as you've seen you know ashen hollow one start that's pretty standard especially for a fortified week like on Tyrannical, I think it's actually better to save it for the boss, but on Fortified you really want to do like a big pull and then... And yeah, here's... we actually swapped tank, like we, we tried to do 19 and we failed because we had like some two pugs that were really... Mm, let's not flame, let's just say they were questionable. Uh, but yeah, basically Happy said he'll tank and now he's tanking and non-vivid is... is uh, a DPSer, Shami, those are two guildies, and then the priest and priest and dru druid, DPS druid, Boomy. They're uh, two 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 bugs. Yeah, anyway, you know, Necrotic nowadays, I feel like after nerfs, this dungeon really isn't that hard. You just gotta interrupt these all these like spells, drain fluid, especially, and throw flashy yeah, one on spells that don't yeah, want to interrupt. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like, I'm gonna do my best to not do voiceover while I'm talking on Discord. I'm luckily I'm not. I wasn't very talkative this day. I was focusing, so there's not gonna be a lot of that. Uh, and also, I think this is finally a key where I, where I, I'm properly playing. Like, there's not gonna be a lot of uh, holy light usages. It's mostly gonna be, as you can see, I'm running double beacon here with one beacon on me, other on tank. And I'm running. Um, I don't know why I don't arcane torrent this. Actually, I'm not sure if you can. I think you can, right? But yeah, we we didn't. Well, actually, we have priest. Like he could have dispelled it as well. So yeah, pretty pretty bad play on our part. But yeah, in general, I'll try not to talk too much. I'll try to talk only when things are relevant to what's happening but yeah no kirian which definitely made this key a little bit cringy but you know we still made it so it's fine yeah by the way i'll have ashen hollow for boss probably so we can do like a back pull into, into boss again like we did last key I'll let you know because we're a bit faster this time, so I might not have it. In that case, don't pull anything too extra. Shit! My bad. Can you can you, can you let me? Yeah, I, I actually got the res there, which was kind of weird. It's pretty bad though. I actually clicked to release there. That was my bad. Completely. But yeah, it is it is what it is. There was like a little bit of land hands. You really don't want to be using land hands on, on the on prides and whatnot. Like usually you want to you wanna heal that with Hold the Avenger and maybe like a, either <laughs> DPS or C, defensive CDs uh, yeah, or... Yeah, you can do extra pulls. You can do extra pulls. Okay, that's it. Yeah, here because, because Cappy didn't really want to... Well, he only pulled like two guys. Which in my opinion wasn't enough to warrant Ash and Hollow. I didn't... I didn't really... Yeah, see, I, I was thinking about it, but I saw that we melted him, dude, like... Look at the Shadow Jesus Priest's Jesus. damage, I mean, he was really... he popped off, dude, like, 30k DPS, holy... And then also, uh... Okay, I, I baited you, never mind. I don't think as well popped off, so nice definitely I feel like it wasn't worth it to Ashen Hollow there. You know, better to save it next pack. No, this is not an next pack, I think it's better. Next pack and there, I said it, like, I'm saving it and I'll use it next pack. Me. 
Then can we kill a little more? Yeah, we can. We We can do big, we can do big guy. Actually, I shouldn't follow. I'm not sure if you like, I'm not sure what else you're pulling, but. I, I just want to use it, I don't want to sit on it really, it's really annoying. That's actually a game changer. Yeah, honestly, this guy ball. helped a lot. This key big with master spells. Like, this priest was really, really good. Played well. I remember. I remember this key because both of these guys played pretty well. Like, this pull is a bit scary because it drains fluids mostly. And throw flash combo. Like, it can. You need to interrupt here. You need to be focused. Yeah. Luckily we have, we have some interrupts, not in too fancy, but we do have uh, like the, the beam from Druid, we have Shaman, which has the best interrupting game, and then we have uh, like two stuns, like, right? Never mind. Well, three stuns actually. No, actually four stuns. So yeah, there you go. It's it's very, it's a lot of, a lot of CC. Somewhere. I got nothing. Yes. Well, it sucks a little bit that we don't have here. But yeah. Sun damage. No, no, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> and here, Pride. As always, as a holy pala, you just want to make sure you have some CDs for this. We'll see what, what we're gonna do in 9.1 in terms of like holy pala and toolkit and all that jazz. From what I heard, like, apparently, I should call it nerfed enough thinking? to warrant you to play Kyrian because Divine Toll is it's ridiculously strong yeah. like open up a bit Ashen Hall is absolutely insane but Ki like Divine Toll is so good that it actually unless you're doing like super high keys it's it's more <laughs> worth to play as Kyrian like nobody should ever die if you're playing Kyrian it's Holy Palo Here, just be careful of cleave. And then I actually get cleaved. I don't know why I didn't heal myself there. Actually, I got no idea what I'm doing. Killed? Oh, dude, you're, dude, you're, 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 oh my god, stop spinning. Yeah, so like, oh, what happened here yeah. is. No, yeah, I think arrest me after you kill them. There's no, you don't need me. Yeah, because you can hear me, but you, you, went but to you can't hear you went my to teammates. I think he told me, if I remember correctly. <laughs> if I remember correctly, he told me that those were treants. Oh, yeah. treants. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Because he was he was literally spinning, like... I yeah, and I thought it's, it's the thing. 
But that's kind of cringy. My bad still. Like, I should have been more aware of Treants and just like he sort of don't need, worked don't around it. Games, he, he's just mindsets. Right, let's uh, nuke the shields again like we did last time. And then after this, we can do big pull. I got Ash and Follow if you want to. You guys got CDs? Yeah, but you, you don't matter, like, I'll keep you alive. With Ash and Follow, there's no, no way you die. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Ah, but I mean, I got, like, I got... I got sacked for you in, in Ash and Follow, like, it's very likely that you'll die. Shields, no? This was the only frustrating part of this key. This is getting embarrassing. I remember I mean, that it took instead. us forever to kill these marauders. Grammar Foden? Question marks? <laughs> oh, you did? Okay. I just couldn't okay. burst the shield. I don't know why. Like, nobody was using CDs. What's, what's happening? This is it, that's actually so We literally lost like one minute, maybe even more on this. One person usually. Yeah. Okay, we did it. Holy shit, boss down. Boss down, dude. <laughs> Two is enough, I think. Two is enough. Unless you wanna do control as well, I don't know, up to you. Yeah, here we did like uh, a little bit bigger pull oh, with, yeah. with Ash and Hollow, oh, yeah. which is quite nice. Uh, we just if you pull patrol first. if you want to. I don't know if it's Pretty quite cool. Then we pull patrol in. I don't think we wanted to do that though. Yeah, I, I think I, uh, I, I think the uh, way we rem remember Tank telling me that we shouldn't have pulled them. I'm not sure who pulled uh, them. Uh, help with. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, like one one scary thing Don't is. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, big, 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 big. That's actually really good. Yeah, it was scary because we had two mobs, and and pride. So I knew this is gonna be nasty. This might get spicy. So so I asked Shami to help me. With some off healing. That's always needed. We gotta We also got Druid to off heal here, but okay, I don't think Pug Druids off heal much. At least not usually. And here, like, here I popped Holy Avenger and uh, you can see it going to work. Like, look at this. That, that CD is really good. Actually, very underrated. I think we in this. If we pick heavy in this on everyone. Yeah, we don't, I guess. Could have been missed to boss and come back for this. Okay. That boss is kind of tricky. It's probably the only boss that matters in this dungeon. Fortified can sometimes get yeah, a little bit scary. This. Actually, had to use uh, the mind shield. Well, in their defense, we didn't say anything. So. Exactly, exactly. That's that's true. Drops, guys, but they're drops. Going into this boss without uh, without prideful buff makes me nervous. To be honest, I think. Uh, 
It works out actually. It worked out with that and hollow, it's fine. Paragon. There is nothing you can do to stop us. The tricky part about high okay, Ash and Hollow in one minute. Which is not I don't think I will will be up for the good use. The tricky part about high Sorry, I'm trying not to See talk no. over myself. It's funny. See if he's gonna check or anything. No. Shut the fuck up, no, me, stop. dude. Stop talking. Okay, I'm just gonna talk over myself. It's yeah, it's a nice force. I'm probably not saying anything know. interesting yeah. anyway. Okay, so basically, the most important part is uh, obviously heal at start just dealing reason. with the ads, killing ads, and. Uh, managing your CDs as a healer, burns, you need to know yeah. when the bursty phases are coming, and that's mostly when the ads are spawned, and that's it. Uh, obviously, it's not tyrannical, so this boss is really not that hard. Okay, I'm not I'm tyrannical weeks. It is 18 stats. though, so but it's still gonna hurt. And yeah, maybe we should have used Bloodlust here. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, but we ended up. I think we ended up not doing it, so it was kind of fine to be honest. It went smoothly. I actually end up passion following. Okay, I'm a little bit surprised by that to be honest, but I think I saw our damage like falling off and I was like, you know, whatever, I'll help, I'll contribute. We need more damage from me, so I deal a lot of damage and also a lot of healing to help me out with these spawns. Uh, like, uh, uh, this boss is not to be underestimated, it's a, it's a pretty scary boss, in my opinion at least. Got some bad experiences with Amart. Getting what? Doing what? Orb? I have never taken that in my entire life. Okay, what do I do? Where, where, where is it? Here? Okay. And when do I click it? Okay. I will lead the effort here while my disciples bring you to the necropolis. And that was an embarrassing confession from me, admitting that I've never used uh, an orb before. <laughs> Jesus, that's so embarrassing. I'm not getting any good wing procs whatsoever, it's kind of annoying. That's kind of a dumb, kind of a dumb stun. Yeah. Fever? to tell me when to use orb. Fever? Uh, 10 seconds to stun. seconds for stun you know all these packs there's not there's not much to talk about so i'm not going to like to, you, you just gotta you gotta stun corpse collectors and kill them before they rip your party apart just uh, focus on healing obviously tank and all the others and that's it oh that holy shock crit was beautiful on fortified uh, the real bosses are actually these these pulls before before Sergeant Stitch Flash, at least in a critic wake. Oops, let go, go, okay. Fifteen seconds for my stun. I got I got sacked for you, so you're totally fine. Five seconds for podge. Interrupt. Okay. I think I'll have next one. Yeah, I got this one. I mean, that's the only thing that can wipe us here, so I'm just like better safe than sorry. Gorge, gorge player. It goes off. Follow in 15 seconds. Um, 
Could I use Orb then? Use Orb then I should follow for a big pull after. What do you think? Okay, I am using Orb. We actually ended up like using the orb on yeah, right because I think uh, like I I, I, I wanted to save CDs. I should have used Holy Avenger though. This was really stupid, but yeah. yeah you can just my idea was guys too, I think. my idea was to do big pull with two packs. Yeah, after packs. we kill these these two like corpse collectors. But we, uh, they explained to me that that's actually not possible. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know this, but apparently the collector, uh, not collectors, the yeah. is it collectors? Yeah, I think it's corpse collectors. Like they don't move. They like he, they <laughs> will not move. They will just stand there and throw shit at us. So yeah, that sucks. Thank you. They don't move even if you interrupt them. Like if you interrupt both casts, they still don't move. That kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Analogies, dude. That's unfortunate. Holy shit. Here is just uh, just cool thing to remember is that you can bop somebody. It's very useful, especially for melee, for example, or classes that like to stay close in general. When that guy almost died. Living chance there. Yeah, that was a problem, wasn't it? Wasn't even worth it. I just let him die. I think he didn't lie with something else. Fine, Chappy. I got a slice. This guy is very scary, like just watch out for gut slice. X as you can see, and as that shadow priest can see, or should I say not see <laughs> in his case. Kaikis is probably the most dangerous out of all. His uh, fucking acid spew or whatever it's called. Yeah, this one, spew disease. That thing is just like something else on Kaikis, especially in Fortified. It really hurts. Gotta be careful. Don't get AIDS <laughs> and don't die. <laughs> don't stand in it.
<laughs> this guy is the real boss on the fucking portrait. Actual boss of them. Should be fine on the boss. Here we did pride, cozy. Okay. Too fancy. I end up using Gash and Follow here. We can see save CDs for the boss. Not sure if that was a good decision or not in retrospective, but I don't know. I just felt like it. With this build, oh uh, sorry, oh, I'm here. I, I kind of fucked up here. Like I, I, I am mixed up. I thought I'm getting hooked. I was thinking yeah, about hooking. I thought it's hook on me. Maybe with this fun. build, you really should not shouldn't have to ash and follow pride. Uh, like especially when you're playing with like three classes that can help you with healing, like both, both uh, priest and. Okay, and, uh, can kill a lot. So you really shouldn't need that help. But yeah. That's cookies on boss. I'm a coward. Okay. The real reason I used it is because like my logic is if I if I use Easy. it there, I'm probably gonna have it up again for the last boss. And we will see if that logic is correct. One thing to note about this boss is, as you can see, like, by using a uh, Hand of Freedom, you can completely negate Frozen Binds. It's actually ridiculous that that, 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 that the cooldowns line up so well. Okay, like, here I, I forgot to do it thing. once, but I think up until then uh, it was pretty good, but it's just... You literally nullify the mechanic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and, you know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and have a lovely day. Thank you.